Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and this is the next video tutorial of your vehicle uh, rental system. And in this video tutorial, this time I'm going to success the order and generate the order ID. Okay, so first of all, uh, just I want to give the demonstrations of uh, like uh, this is the simple demonstrations where your vehicle rental system is working. So wait for some time, so I, will, uh, I will go for uh, the next section. And here we have the outputs of your vehicle rental system. Now after that, just I'm going to get uh, the particular order header values. So by using the unit of, uh, just you can use the repository pattern, just I'm going to uh, use it here. And after that, you can use uh, session services. And after that, you can check that that is the payment is the paid. If the payment is paid, then you can just update the order header information like the order status as well as uh, the payment status. So just I want to give the login system. And here we have a automatically generated system that is like that. Okay. And here we have like that. And just save this. And just I want to uh, use Lamborghini uh, as a rental system. So uh, just I want to use uh, 27. Oops, is that 26, 27, and 2023 is the date. And I want to use 26 and 29 and 2023. That is the end date of your uh, rental. Just uh, click to submit and just go for the card details. And you have to the card and here we have the name and the full address as well as you have to add the phone number also now now the next one is the make purchase of the rental system and here we have the 2000 rates and here i'm using uh, the lamborghini uh, rates of the rental system is uh, 2000 rupees in the indian system so uh, just you can use uh, your email address like a test at the rate of gmail.com or you can say that amit at the rate of gmail.com okay so so the card information is looking like that and that is the demo of your card and just click to pay and you will see that uh, here we have the proceed information is successfully and yes that is the information is successfully and your order is successful and your order id is five okay so that is the final terms and just i want to add some extra information like uh, uh, order status in the in that section before generating the id property so when that is order header and just i want to get uh, order header information so you can use order header get order uh, header that is by using the id property so you can open your order header service and uh, here we have a order header service like i order header service and here we have insert and update okay so you can just get order header and get order header and in which you can just pass id now just uh, you can use order header service and okay so just stop this and order header service and update the implementation detail okay now after that you will go for the get the order header so uh, return on context dot order headers to find by id so you can return context.order headers dot find by id so here we have a order header okay so inside the card controller and here we have order header that is the i action result that get is the order header okay now the next one is the services where service is new session service Okay, and that is the final thing. Session 
and so new okay services service a dot get and what is the get just you want to order header dot session id so order header not uh, that is order header just i want to get it here order header dot session id after get the session id from the order header details you have to check the payment status if uh, the session dot a payment status uh, is paid then you can say that order header dot payment status is global configuration dot status approved and order header dot uh, order status that is global configuration dot status approved and else if it is not paid then uh, payment status is status rejected you can say that uh, and you can say payment status is status rejected it's not uh, enough so just you can remove this section here and the status is approved and update the status also in the from the order header so order header is actually updated in the payment status as well as the order status okay so uh, you can use the session service and update the status like uh, order order service is like that here we have a update status and just go for the card controller and just call order header service underscore order header service dot update status and here we have the order header id uh, order header id is order header dot id and session id is what session id and the payment intent id is not a actually session id and payment intent id just i want to get uh, update the uh, order status okay so uh, just you can use i order header service and here we have a session id and payment intent id just i want to use update order status okay and just i want to use in teaser order header id and uh, string that is the order status and the next one is string and that is payment status okay order status and payment status now just save this and in the order service just implement interface so first of all get and that is the looking like that here we have so order header first of all where order header is context dot order headers dot now you can use order header id so here we have a order header so order header dot you can say uh, order status and is what is order status that is order status and next one is order header dot payment status that is payment status like that now after that you have to use context dot save changes okay now go for the card controller again and you will call that method order header service underscore order header service dot update order status and the id is the order header id so order header dot id and order header dot payment status is just like a approved you can say that if you want to change something like that so you can just remove from here 
and you can use global configuration oops global configuration dot status of root status of root and global configuration dot status approved okay order status is like that approved and you will call okay now after that you can say uh, this is the uh, necessary things you have to do it and after that your uh, cart is deleted just after that you have to use the cart is deleted so order status is approved and then you can say that uh, your cart is deleted okay so just save this and you will see that your order status is approved 